Welcome to a Week 12 Mountain West Conference Showdown as the San Diego State Aztecs come into Laramie to take on the Wyoming Cowboys. The Cowboys are ranked 18th in the nation and are 8-2 overall and 5-1 and in conference play after last week's 28-21 victory over the Utah State Aggies. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings going into today's games. The Cowboys currently do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The National Top 25 Rankings going into today's games. The current Heisman Trophy watch. The Cowboys individual stats going into today's game.
Cowboys recruiting board going into today's game. And now, our Week 13 Mountain West Conference matchup as the 2-8 and eight San Diego State Aztecs come into Laramie to take on the 8-2 and two Wyoming Cowboys. Welcome to Laramie, Wyoming, and one of the highest elevations you will find in all of college football. And it is home to the Wyoming Cowboys, and they have a taste for the spicy brown mustard. Today, we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see, the San Diego State Aztecs taking on the 18th ranked team in the land, the Wyoming Cowboys. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Aztecs will kick it off to get us underway. He'll start the return inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Cowboys offense will get the first crack at it here. And as we look out, who makes it all go, and that's this quarterback. Yeah, and he's big time. That's why he's up for all these awards. He's, he's known. Everybody knows exactly what he brings to the table. He can run it. He can throw it. They're expecting a big day from this young fella. The offense set for a first down play. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda going over the top, fires the pass, intercepted. Not a lot on the return, but they can live with that as they've got it at the 49. Not the start this kid was looking for. Very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end, and he's got to be real careful with his eyes, not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. First down here for the offense. Looking for a gap. It's Sutton. They'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Wide receiver shows motion. From the gun, the running back has it. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Caught over the middle. It's Tanner. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job with those guys being on the same page there. And the Aztecs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Use the play fake, now to throw. And it's incomplete, but there's a flag in the backfield. Let's see who the call's on. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Uh, they're just making things harder now. It's first and 20. Back to pass, it's Warner. He's looking deep. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. After the misfire, now on second down. The give on the inside. 
Just a solid stop by this sophomore. This is a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. It's caught downfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given him and creating the explosive play. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. And they'll send out the field goal unit. Absolutely perfect. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job executing all of that return at the 22. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. Got three on first down at second and seven. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Going to take a shot at this DB. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Just gashing this defense, a big gainer to the 40-yard line. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his run. One big play, and you go from a little backed up to threatening. It's first and 10 from the 40. Give to the running back. On the move at the 30. Off he goes. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. I love the execution on that play. Great blocking up front just to get the ball carrier an opportunity in the second run with the defense. And then at that point, it was make a guy miss and use the speed. That was a perfectly executed play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finished it off with a 40-yard touchdown run. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. Hand off from the gun. Spins away from the defender. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, balls at the 25. Catch in the middle, it's Beverly. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. The Aztecs come to the line with a new set of downs. Finds a soft spot in the middle. 
They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. From the gun, the ground game. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. And the Aztecs have this offense rolling. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. This has the makings of a good drive. The seventh play brings up a third and four. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. They move the chains on the ground. Now another first down. Dropping back, it's Warner. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And he'll be tackled, but there is a flag on the field. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. The give to the tailback. Trying to run it in in the red zone. He's got four, and he's down at the 12. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Now it's third and goal. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. We're ready to get things started here in the second. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. And he just throws it away. That is... They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Merritt. Pulled down at the eight. Wyoming takes over the football, and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Unloads to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. This defense has a lot of speed, especially in the secondary. And you saw that speed. That defender got to that receiver so quick. And because of the hit, incomplete pass. 
Third and 10, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Wants to throw. It's Svoboda. Coming after him. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. The Cowboys line up to punt it away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Gets off his first one of the day. He was called on five times in the victory last week. And the coverage team. San Diego State takes over as the offense is ready to go to work. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. Yeah, I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Line gets set, first down. Fast motion from the offense. They go to the ground. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll go to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Getting some heat. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. The Aztecs send out the punt unit. First punt of the day, and he lobbed to lock them up close to their goal line. And the punt goes out of bounds. But they certainly gave them no opportunity for a return. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Palmer. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. The defense was obviously ready for that play. They've obviously been watching film. They know that that pass play is one of the bread and butter plays this offense has. So nice job defending it. Third down conversions are a huge stat. And this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. And the defense there goes zone coverage, maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Guys, we're about to get another look at this San Diego State offense. They've had a couple of productive drives, but they've had to settle for field goals in two of their three previous possessions, Jesse. Yeah, this is an offense that takes a lot of pride in execution, and they feel like they should have scored a touchdown every single drive. So while it's been good, not great, David, just execute a little bit better, and they can put this one in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think you point that out. We went all the way down the field on two of our first three drives and got field goals. Now, just a little better execution. And that field starts to shrink, and it gets a little bit more difficult. Leaves it with the running back. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. And the Aztecs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. The defense is backed up as the offense is in the red zone. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Grabbed in the middle, it's Nolan. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Oh, he gave him the dead leg. Moving toward the end zone, ball out! Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Oh, 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 oh. Play will decline the penalty. First and ten from inside their own five. You got to take care of the ball, but there is room to take a shot here. Poor starting field position here for this offense. 
from the gun. They'll try to impose their running game. Not a lot of movement on that one. The defense in position. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. This offense will start doing business from their own 18-yard line on first down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quarterback keeper. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. What can they pull out of the playbook here on second and long from the 17? To the air, it's Svoboda. He finds his man. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. And the Cowboys are moving quickly down the field. They'll put the tight end in motion. Leaves it with the back. In his sophomore season, he's really learned to find that running room. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Makes the catch. It's Merritt. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Another first down. Man, this, this defense this defense couldn't stop a nosebleed right now. It's that bad. It's a first and 10 from the 42-yard line. He wants to throw. It's in! Completed. He's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Man, the defense is making it tough on this quarterback early. They already have an interception. They almost came away with another one there. They're doing a great job reading his eyes and breaking on the ball. Dialing up a second down pass play. Got his man quickly. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. Eight play of the drive, and to keep this one going, they'll need to convert a third and five. Back to the air one more time. He's got his man. All the way down to the 25-yard line. They move the sticks. It's first down. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. From the 25-yard line, it's first and 10. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And he slips the first defender and picks up a handful of yards. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. To throw. It's Svoboda. Finds his big tight end. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. All right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success, stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. The 
The Cowboys will snap it on first and ten. The give from the gun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. They'll send out the kicker here. It's good. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that'll be the final point of this first half. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball so the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Looking for a productive play on first down. The give out of the gun. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. A very conservative approach here, just taking the knee and heading to the locker room. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Gentlemen, who's got a better seat there today in Laramie than you do? And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at the highest elevation in all of college football. Stadium. And the Cowboys will kick it away first, and we'll start the second half. Let's see what he can do with the return. And the return man's journey is stopped, but there is a flag on the play. Holding, holding, receive the team. team. The official.
Not the field position you dream about. First down from the eight. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Slams his way forward. He'll get three out to the 11. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now facing a third and long. Looking for a man. It's Warner. Shoots it to the left. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. The Aztecs will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fair catch is field position. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going, and something can start to build. Illegal block on the back. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They'll run this play from the pistol. He's going to pass on second down. Quickly out to the tight end. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And that's why QBs love their tight end so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Fires to the big fella. It's a really nice job in coverage defensively there because that tight end, he wasn't really even open. Quarterback just still tried to put it on him and, and give him an opportunity, but great tackle, short of the stick, setting up fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Grabbed over the middle. It's Merritt. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Wow, and that was just a bang-bang play. On that fourth down, the coverage was tight. QB had his receiver. He knew where he wanted to go with it, but the only way that ball gets completed is if he puts a little extra mustard on it and he shows you the arm talent on the throw. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. To the air, it's Svoboda. Throws for the tight end. It's complete. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the game. Got like that big, reliable security blanket. And that's what tight ends are a lot of the times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, and give me some positive yards. A first down run in the red zone. Dragged down at the six after a pickup of two. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. And this is the area of the field where you need a really good back. You can depend on, you can give him the football. He's going to hit a little crease and, and, and just lower his shoulder, be physical, be powerful. You saw last week he got a rushing touchdown. I look for this offense to continue to feed him and maybe get him another one today. Defense going all in to stop the run.
They'll try to blast their way in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Cowboys. I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Pittsburgh is currently trailing, but this has been a back-and-forth affair. If that quarterback can find a little magic a la Dan Marino, this might not be over just yet. They're trailing by nine to Notre Dame. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Gets it into the end zone, but wait a minute. We'll have to check out the laundry on the field. The penalty wipes out the big play and the touchdown. It is just a punch in the gut for any offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, in offense, you're hoping the run fix going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Didn't make it any easier on themselves on first down. Now second and long from the 21. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. And the Aztecs will call on their punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He's got great speed. And he loses the football on the return. Wide open, and it's a foot race. Touchdown, Aztecs. And once he got loose, it was all over. Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You, you got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. Now they'll try the two-point conversion and try to crawl within three. The give. He gets it in for the two, and now a field goal would tie it. They're just about to kick it off after that scoop and score six. Looking for an alley from inside his own ten. Not a lot of space for him at the 21. And your Wyoming Cowboys. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. He turns that loose down the right side. Well, there's something you don't see very often. The quarterback overthrowing that guy with his type of speed. There aren't a lot of dudes that have the arm talent to overthrow him, but somehow we just saw it happen right there. Ready up, ready up. 
After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. To the air, it's Svoboda. Going back to the well, another deep ball. Running toward the tape. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Wyoming. A great catch and run for six. That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. If you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of score. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it with a flare, a 77-yard touchdown pass. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Makes the grab. And the explosiveness, the big gainer, gets it to the 49-yard line. The Aztecs have it with the first and 10. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Back to throw. It's Warner. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. And a nice grab with a defender right on him. And he's down at the 20. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. We have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. They're down to the 20, first and 10. The give to the back. Knocked down after a pickup of... You're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Looking for room. It's Sutton. Didn't get a whole lot of room to run. He picked up one or two. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, San Diego State. Well, if the momentum hadn't shifted before, it certainly has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? That's beautiful. Now the defense comes out, gets you a stop, get aggressive, but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side, they can lose this ball game. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point pulls them to within three, 24-21. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Nice job. Stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16.
Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tired. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to drive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. They'll go to the air on third and short. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. I think in this situation after that incompletion, fourth and short on your side of the field, the smart play is to punt it away and trust your defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Brooks. He gets it up to the 30. This drive will get underway from just inside the 35 at their own 34. Out of the gun, the give to the back. At the 45 on his way. He'll work his way down to the 28. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator of where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big gain. i got to make sure I shut this down the next time they run it. What a dynamic play on that last one. Flips the field, and they've got it first and 10 from the 28. He's looking to throw it. Feeling some heat. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. This defense will bring pressure from the linebacker level, from the cornerback level, free safety level, and the strong safety level. They're bringing it from all over the field. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. Off the play fake. Trying to get to him. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. Get the field goal from here. It's a 51-yarder. Get a few on third down, and life is much better. Pocket starts to collapse. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And we are all tied up here in the fourth. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Pitt looks like it sent the JV squad out there today. An offense that can't move the sticks and a defense that looks disinterested. So unlike this program. They're trailing by 20 to Notre Dame. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that 17. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Looking to pass, it's Svoboda. He's got his man. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Yeah, great job creating space. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get man coverage, you got to find a way to get a step, make it easy for your quarterback to read that leverage. And when he drags across the field, he can see he had him. He completes it for the first down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, going up top. He rifles one deep to the left. He holds it in, and nobody's close. Touchdown! 
Touchdown, Wyoming. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm. And they get the sack right out of the gate. And the defense just gets their fourth sack of the day. And guess what? This offensive line, they gave up four last week, too. So you need some consistency up front. Make sure you protect that QB that can make those big plays for you. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw, it's Warner. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. Not going to risk a return. Wyoming takes over the football, and the Cowboy offense on its way out. He leaves it with his back. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Right back to the well. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll try to run for it. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. This offense could not have executed in this situation any better, just draining some time off the clock. Gonna run it. It's Scott. 
And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Ball's at the 27. It's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? We have arrived at the two-minute warning. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. Third and inches coming. This is the kind of play where every fiber of your being is tested. The give to the fullback. The Cowboys get enough for the first down. Timeout called there by the defense. And the Cowboys have it with a first and ten. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. When the offense can run the football and you can feature a guy like this that will get more yards than his block that you can really depend on, hangs on to the football like... It makes offense super easy, especially down the stretch when you want to eat that clock and you want to possess the football. Just nice to have that kind of guy. To the ground with the back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. About to snap it for the eighth time on this drive, and it's a third down and four. They'll try to power their way ahead. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense. Now they got to get a stop, and if it's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? Movement here from the tight end. Leaves it with the back. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. It's really important at this point of the game late that they at least get a field goal here to make this a two-possession game. So they're staying conservative. They're running the football, keeping it on the ground to execute that idea. The Cowboys enter the final minute with the lead, trying to run out the clock. On the run, it's Scott. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And he got nowhere, but now it's decision time. It's third down. Listen, if I go get this first down, there's a good chance this ball game's over. The clock's going to run out. So how aggressive do I want to be on this third down? Well, I want to be aggressive if I'm on defense. You could tell in these last couple of plays, they've been selling out, putting a lot of bodies closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating the offense, trying to run the football, and trying to bleed the clock. Now, I'd get after this quarterback. I'd be anticipating throw here. Just send the blitz and really dictate to them to give yourself an opportunity to win. You want to talk about building confidence, coming through with clutch plays, Making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season. Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters. And this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps. They've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big-time plays. And I think belief is what you build. That confidence, you know you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win. You know you're going to make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week-to-week -week success. And you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together. 
So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
Cowboys suffered no new significant injuries in today's game. Next week's Week 14 Mountain West Conference regular season finale has the San Jose State Spartans coming into Laramie to take on the Cowboys.